Good afternoon and welcome from Historic Haworth. It's John again here and I'm going to be talking about, as usual, teas. And a particular tea. This week I'm going to be talking about Devil's Claw. But before we get into that, I thought I'd tell you about Kent's Claw. And yes, it's, it's been alright. I've, 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 I've taken it every day this week and... Um, I must say, when you know, when I meditate and I'm sitting cross-legged for roughly an hour, it's made a big difference to actually, you know, when I, you know, uncrossing my legs and standing up. It's, it's not as um, it's not as painful, and I certainly noticed that you know, there's not as many clicks, not as much clicking going on, you know, in my knees, particularly my knees and elbows, which which seems to be the case normally. I just would say, yeah, uh, it's it's very good. It does exactly what you know. Exactly what it says it says it'll do, or what you know. What's been traditionally useful for many years. Now this is um. Yeah, this leads leads us on to, you know. To um, another claw, but this one's called Devil's Claw. Now, unlike well, this, I mean, this is this is from Africa, mainly found in the Kalahari Desert region. You know, it comes from South Africa and um, where or the Southern Africa, whereas um, cat, the cat's claw came from South America, and it, it's one of the no or, or, or oldest, oldest known herbs. I mean, the people, the man, the, madi, the, the, the nomadic people of that region, have been around for twenty thousand years. You know, you know. That we're all supposed to come from. There's just a journey, you know. You've heard about the, the phrase out of Africa where this the humanity made this journey from Africa. Well, the Kara, the people of that area, are those people, are the, are the first people, supposed to be the first people. And they've been taking Devil's Claw for roughly 20,000 well, 20, years at least. And interestingly, A group of, I think it was sociologists, observed that they never hobble, and they put it down to the large amounts, or the, the fact they drink a lot of cat's claw. These people. So what does it do? Well, the, the, get a bit of a clue then the hobble thing, but um, it's very good for arthritis. It's been proven to decrease hip and knee pain associated with arthritis. But not only that, it also helps with back pain, lower back pain, lower back pain. It's been, it's, it, again, it's been documented to actually improve lower back pain. And, uh, and neck pain, which, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's interesting that, yeah, it used to be the case that more, more working days were lost in Britain to back pain or people having bad backs and anything else. Yeah, so maybe if the, Maybe if Devil's Claws prescribed, I might not be losing so many, many, many working days. Also, it's um, good for digestive health. It can give you relief from uh, heartburn and soothes, soothes the inflammation caused by acid reflux. Which is really good. Which is really, yeah, because, yeah. Particularly this season when you've when we've all overindulged in food and stuff, it's probably a good idea to have something like this on standby. Now, um, another thing it's used it's useful for is weight loss. Now, researchers again proved that it slows down or even stops the production of a uh, the hunger hormone called ghrelin, which is spelled G H R E L I N. So that's really, you know, it's really good. You know, it, you know if, if you're a binge, if you're a binge eater, you're thinking, what am I going to do to stop? You know, eating a whole packet of biscuits when you know really one would have done. Then perhaps um, Devil's Claw may be useful for you. Now then, it's also useful. It can be applied topically to to to, to wounds to stimulate healing. It, it's, it's 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 pretty pretty good. It's fantastic. And um, of course, it goes, I'll say it goes back many years, and traditionally it's been used for, 
for, for many kinds of pain, ranging, ranging from childbirth, yet, to, you know, to write a, it's, a, it's, you know, it's mild this application, I suppose, for heartburn. Now then, let's have a look. It's, you know, of course, it's one of those, it's just, this is almost a standard warning, you don't take if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. If you have heart disease or on high or on high blood pressure, if you've been treated for diabetes, or you're on blood thinning medication, as it it may be the case that um, oh excuse me, got itchy eyes, itchy eyes. But uh, yeah, it's got because um, it, it, it's got blood thinning um, properties. Pretty, all in all, sounds sounds pretty good. Now, to be honest, you don't get much for your money. I'm 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 not sure I'll have enough to, you know to last the week. There's some of them like like you know you get the like Hawthorne berries. You don't get you got to get much for your money. You know what I mean? And it's like you know cat's claw. Like you get tons of that. You get a lot of that for your money. But but, but the devil's claw not not so much. And that all always suggests that you know it's difficult, to, either difficult to cultivate or hard to come by. But then again, I, I insist on getting organic, organic certified, you know, as natural as possible, as uninterfered with as possible products when I'm, when, I'm, when, it, when it goes for the, the herbs or the tea. So let's have a look at it. I mean. Looking from it's 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 a, it's quite a dark brew, actually. So maybe you don't need like as much. Maybe you can use it sparingly. But um, we'll see. That's just a just a, an advising. So definite smell, but I can't identify it. I think we're going to go in for the taste now. Mmm. Mmm. That's very bitter. Very bitter. Yeah. Ugh. That's. Mmm. Yeah. Perhaps that's why it's. Perhaps you don't need need much. But blimey, that's. Mmm. Warnings. Ouch, mm, that's that's hard going. But for the purposes of this, I, I'm not gonna, I won't, I won't sweeten it or adulterate it in any way. So that's what we're having. But that's a hard, that's a hard drink. Mm. Oh yeah, it is. That's not. Mm. Ah, that's not nice to drink at all. So be warned. But we'll see how effective it is with um, any joint pain. We'll see if it, you know. Look, we'll see if it. I'll let you know if it takes. Take, you know, if it's like the cat's claw, and it, it, it does make the joints feel better. My goodness, that's 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 absolutely good grief. That's not nice at all. I shall persevere with it and and and, and have come one copy of meditation in the morning. So that's devil's claw for you. My goodness, that's yuck! It's got a horrible taste. Mm. Yeah, and I can't see how it's going to help. I don't say stomach and ugh. the taste is that awful. Anyway, let's go for let's go for the cheese update. Yeah, I'm. Uh, 
I'm still at 15 points, but it's getting a bit, even that's getting a bit uncomfortable. So I'm going to, I'm going to try dropping it down to 14. Yeah, and that's it really, but yeah, it's, it's, um, something, yeah, it just seem a bit, <coughs> excuse me, hmm, it just seem to be improving my hearing, which is great, and I some um, something called Ogle Shield at the minute, which is quite, um, which I'm enjoying, with some nice, I've got some, uh, apple and onion chutney, some water, it's really nice, it goes nice together. But yeah, that's um, that's 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 the cheese update. Now next week we're gonna we're gonna be you know I'm gonna be sampling something called Eye Bright Tea, which is um, something I do take occasionally, and I find very effective about what you know with what it's supposed to do. So if you want to join us on Tea Journey next week, get some Eye, eye Bright Tea. Oh, sorry, should I say? Oops, beg your pardon. Next year, yeah. Get yourself a bit of eyebright tea. It's quite reasonably priced, and you do get a fair amount. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I put. I did. I did. I think I'm gonna only do do half a teaspoon of the of the of the devil's claw tomorrow. I don't think it needs much. I am aware of it. Working in my stomach. I can feel it in my stomach. This is awful taste. Yeah, it's, it's, and it, it's a horrible. It, it just stays. That horrible taste just stays. So, mm, so that's that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.